I had one of my viewers ask me about to uh, do a video on my system specifications. So I'm going to do that for you real quick today on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, let's begin. Um, now, my computer setup is really humble by today's standards. I got this computer earlier this year and it was on sale. I'm using the Compaq Presario CQ56, the 115DX AMD V series. The reason I chose the AMD processor is for many years I built my own desktop computers and I have come to trust. AMD products, and I've always liked the ATI uh, cards that uh, ship with um, since the merger between ATI and uh, AMD. I've always used AMD cards. I've tried NVIDIA and that sort of thing, but it's just a preference for me. So when I saw this notebook, I, um, I uh, immediately uh, decided to purchase this. Now, um, what I did was to get a better deal on this when I uh, went to um, this store, this uh, technology store. I basically told the manager that I was not in agreement with the Microsoft End User License Agreement, and it had a bunch of other software that I wasn't even going to use on this. They wanted nearly $500 for this computer, fully loaded. And uh, I basically told them the first thing I'm going to do when I take this thing home is format the hard drive and slap a Linux distribution on it. Well, that wasn't true, but I. Um, but the thing is, I didn't. Um, I didn't want to pay for all the additional software packages and this sort of thing because I really didn't want to use it anyway. But at any rate, uh, this uh, features a 2.3 gigahertz AMD V series processor. It's the V140. It is a single core. And this also had 2 gigs of DDR3 RAM, and it came with Windows 7 Home. And I thought it was pretty slow, actually. Um, it wasn't until I slapped a Linux distro on a secondary partition on this drive that where I really could see what this thing can do. And then of course uh, it says here in the paragraph that you can always expand the gigs, the, the memory up to uh, 8 gigs of RAM and that is what I did with this thing. And it has a nice roomy 250 gigabyte hard drive and um, I like this. Now in addition to that um, I use this computer pretty much as a desktop. So I have a Kobe 32 inch high definition widescreen television uh, as my monitor. I am also using a Logitech wireless keyboard and mouse that is connected to this thing. And I'm also using a uh, Logitech. And I can't even read the model number on this camera. Let me take a quick look here. Okay, I'm using the HD 720p webcam, which does a really nice job of broadcasting a uh, nice, crisp, clear video. And let me think, what else do I have? Oh, I have the, um, you, you'll see that I have a tutorial on the Kodak uh, ESP C310 printer and a workaround for it because there is no Linux driver for that yet. But all in all, Linux powers this computer beautifully. Um, now, uh, I will be in the market to eventually upgrade and purchase another computer. Uh, when I uh, have the funds to do that because I saw what Pin Guy OS can do on a dual core computer that has the same processing speed at 2.3 gigahertz but it's just a dual core and uh, this rocks but the thing is I love the performance of this thing it doesn't shake or jitter or anything and I'm not even using uh, any proprietary drivers I'm just using the stock Zorg drivers that came with PinGuy OS. 
Okay, well, I hope this answers your question. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.